I just want to talk a little bit about how I believe taking action on climate is consistent with conservative principles. You know, my understanding of conservative principles, and I'm a progressive, but my understanding of conservative principles are basically that you value incrementalism, that you understand the importance of institutions, that you try to move slowly where possible, that you try not to make radical changes to communities or societies or organizations unless it is absolutely necessary. And there is no more radical change that we could make to our economy, to our physical environment, to our communities, to our government, than uh, to allow climate change to move forward. So it seems to me that uh, what the senator is saying is exactly right. There are plenty of conservatives who are prepared to take action in this area. Right now, what we need is a Republican dance partner. And I think we have them. I think there are those who understand and may have quiet conversations with us and nod and agree that the situation is getting increasingly dire and increasingly real and scientifically based in fact, but they don't want to be the first one caught making sense. Uh, they don't want to be putting themselves at the tip of that spear. So one of the reasons that we are here tonight is to hopefully galvanize the American public to go back to their more reasonable Republican members and say, remember when you said you would be a middle-of-the-road Republican? This is the way to demonstrate that you are a middle-of-the-road Republican. This is the way to demonstrate that you are a true moderate. When the Department of Defense is saying this is a real strategic challenge, this is not the province of the League of Conservation Voters anymore. I love them. But listen, this is beyond conservation organizations. This is beyond my particular passion for Hawaii's environment. This is about the future of the United States of America and our economic viability. And so there are going to be Republican dance partners, but we all, as a, not just as a Senate, but as a country, have to create a political environment in which they can operate with us and we can get to 60 votes. We don't have those votes right now. But as, as the senator from Rhode Island said, you know, it always looks more difficult uh, than it is, and it's always impossible until you get it done. And um, that's what this is about tonight.